Hi, this is Robert Martinez. I'm here to show you how I use Noiseware Pro from ImageNomic. Um, I use it a lot, especially for my HDR images or when I use um, shooting high ISO. It's uh, it's fast and quick, so I'm going to show you how I do this. Okay, um, this is this image is a HDR image, and there's a lot of noise in it, so I'm going to go really quickly to Adobe Photoshop and um, start editing this image. Let me uh, expand this window here. So I just go to Filter, Image Nomic, Noiseware, and you'll see it it launches pretty quickly. I'm gonna go to Best Fit for now. And right now it's at the default setting. Let me zoom in to 100%. It's at the default setting, and it it does a really good job. Now in this instance. The, since there's a lot of blue and it's a landscape shot, I usually go to the landscape because it's really uh, the landscape and, and all these other presets, they're, they're tweaked uh, depending on, on the scene. So for landscape, for example, if you look at tonal and color range, the, the blues slider is all the way to the max. So it's, it's going to get rid of all that sky, that, uh, that blue noise from the sky. So we're going to hit OK and right off the bat this thing just processes it right away and then I'll just you know click away and hit you know and go back to Lightroom or just continue and um, use some other plugins to enhance the image further and that's what I usually do so usually the first thing I do when I'm in Photoshop I'll, I'll use Noiseware because a lot of times when I use uh, other plugins to enhance the colors and stuff like that it, it tends to add some noise to the image so now I'm gonna go back in and show you some other features that are there that I use sometimes and let's go back in okay so I already showed you um, the presets and there's all these other sliders here which are pretty cool and there's different previews and another thing that I like is this bracketing feature where you can uh, choose different parameters and then you can preview what they look like and compare them so let's try um, let's try sharpening and then we can choose a number of previews I'll leave it at seven and how and the steps the increments we'll leave it at two I'll hit OK and you see up here it creates some tabs with all the different uh, settings. So then you can go in and then compare the photo and say, well, let me see. This is like probably default right here at 5. Let's see how it will look if I really sharpen it up. So then it processes it and then you can see how it, it made it a little bit more sharper. And I don't think this photo needs that. And if I go to sharpening 1, it actually made the photo more softer so you can see let me show you the extreme here's sharpening uh, at 13 notice the way it looks down here and stuff and here's sharpening one and it just got a little bit softer um, overall so I'm gonna leave it at the default setting and uh, click OK so there you have it you can see how quickly it process processes it the image and uh, it's ready for you know stylization and and some further adjustments that I usually like to do so yeah it's, I, I like the plugin it's fast it's quick you know I can get in and get out of it really fast and if I need to go further and add you know and tweak it I can there's a lot of you know a lot of versatility and and, and presets that you can choose from so I hope you enjoyed the uh, quick tutorial I plan to do another one on ImageNomics portraiture, which I use a lot, and it's the same concept. It's fast and quick, and you know, boom, and then I just go on to the next process of the uh, of the image. Thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe and like uh, the video if you can. I really appreciate it. Thank you.